welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to talk about how to look bougie on a budget fun fact really sad fact i'm broke but i don't look like i am and that's the key of this video and i'm just gonna give you my tips and tricks on how i pull that off the first tip is a crucial tip because i can tell you how to dress like whatever but this is like the most important step on how to look kind of bougie and own a lint roller and a lint shaver. That's the best advice I could give anyone. So this one I actually got, I spoke, I spoke about this in like how to smell good. And this is like a lint roller that I just got from Dollarama. You know, I shed a lot. So I just like to do that when I have hair on my shirt. So if I get it done and then for this, if you have those little bumps like that, appear on your clothes like in your sweats for example you'll have those little bumps i guess and then if you wear like wash your clothes those little bumps that pop up this really gets rid of it like you can shave it and it gets rid of all that stuff i got this one from amazon it was pretty cheap and yeah like just not having lint all over your clothes makes a diff a huge difference in your appearance and how people see you so definitely invest in getting one of these it's not even really a big investment like this was only like 13 bucks and this was two dollars so that helps so the next thing i have to say is that stick to a color palette and even dressing in a monochrome like monochromatic looks is really key and you just look so much better if you're just dressing like all in black and like or all white or all beige like i don't know tones like that don't go towards like brighter colors because like sometimes i don't want to say this if like people all have different styles but having like going towards brighter colors kind of looks a little tacky sometimes if you do like let's say all pink like sometimes it's a little in your face I'm not saying that you can't pull it off but it's a little bit too much mm, in your face and yeah so just stick to a color palette you can even mix like the textures like for example i like to wear a lot of leather so i would wear like a nice i don't know let's say this color shirt in black like this fabric in black and then like i would wear the leather pants with it and i think that's like a really good you know contrast because my leather pants is like a different texture than the shirt that i'm wearing so the next thing i want to say talk about is find clothing that fits your body so sometimes if you buy a shirt that's a little bit too tight it's not good you know you can see your little rolls and all that jazz it's not cute and some vice versa even if you buy a shirt that's way too big for you it's not a nice look you know so make sure you buy clothes that fits your body some like for example some days i can fit in a medium and some days i go to an extra large it all depends on the shirt right so yeah just find things that fit you perfectly you can just who cares if you don't have to be married to one size like i know girls that are like they're scared to go up a size like for me i don't care i would always buy the the biggest size if i really feel comfortable because i like loose fitting clothes but don't be afraid to go up or down sizes also get your stuff altered for example like i have a smaller waist and like really big legs and I always tend to get my waist altered because everyone has different body types. So I always make my dad alter my pants or I'll alter my own clothes. Like I'll sew it if it is too big for me or attack like the waist in. So yeah, just get yourself altered, get your clothing altered. Buy, don't be afraid to play with your sizes and it just looks better when clothes properly fits you. Dress simplistic, you know, Wearing a shirt that says Gucci, like a t-shirt shirt that says Gucci or something like that, doesn't scream, I'm rich to me. You know what I mean? It just screams like, okay, that's tacky. Like, who cares if you're wearing Gucci, you know? But yeah, just dress sim very simplistic. I like to have, t I wear t-shirt and jeans and I just throw on a nice blazer or a jacket and call it a day and I still look put together, you know? You don't need like loud prints to tell you that I'm bougie and I'm this. Also, with your accessories, keep it simple you don't need to have a big bold 10,000 layers of chains and jewelry to make yourself look like you're so rich like you don't need that like I always wear the same jewelry every every day but um yeah and 
having like a white t-shirt a black t-shirt and a beige t-shirt and you pair it with like a, different kinds of pants and like jeans it just looks so classy to me and yeah like all i can say accessorize have like a certain kind of accessories like and don't over accessorize it like you can just have that one little piece and be like yeah i layered this like that and i look good for the day so the last tip that i want to discuss would be having confidence have confidence in what you wear if you feel like you look good in that outfit go out and and make sh everyone know that you look good in that outfit strut your stuff don't be ashamed or hide the fact that you feel good in what you're wearing because to me that is very what makes me look expensive like i know if i like an outfit i'm telling everyone like doesn't my outfit look cute today you don't have to do that but i just like to do it and i just feel like i just have that confidence in yourself and i'm telling you people's gonna notice that everyone's gonna notice like wow this girl looks really good not because only her outfit is on point but the way she's like carrying herself the way she's rocking herself is like damn this girl looks good you know anyways guys thank you for watching this little video i'm not telling you guys to follow everything if you don't like what i said like you don't have to follow it you don't have to take it to heart like i'm not bashing anyone who does like wear those things or do things like that but i hope this was helpful if you do want to like level up your style because that's i feel like that's what helped me find my style you know so hopefully you guys like it and i see you in the next video bye